Hey guys, good to see you again. First thing, let me just say Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you had a good Christmas. And second thing, you can see that I have pulled the doors, I have dropped the top, and I am ready to go have some fun. However, I am a little bit scared of today. And here's why. Normally, this is a time a pass holder like myself would avoid the parks. It's after Christmas and before New Year's. The parks are going to be crowded. So, I'm just a little bit nervous about going today. However, if something's fun's gonna happen, it's gonna happen out there, and it's gonna happen today, and it's gonna happen right now. Okay, so we just got here at Universal. Valet parking was full, Prime parking was full, so I had to park in ET 466. Okay, so here's the plan for today. I'm not just gonna go around showing you the wait times and showing you the crowds. I'm actually going to try to ride some rides. You see, my pass is the Premier Pass, and it comes with a free Express Pass option. So after four o'clock, I'm allowed to ride all the rides once through the Express Pass line. So we'll see how that works today. I've never seen this actually moving. Making my way over to the Simpsons ride. It is a 55 minute wait for standby. Okay, so it's 4.07 and we're stepping into the express line for the Simpsons. So there you go, that was about a 25 minute wait from getting in line to getting into the car. About a 30 minute savings using that. Actually, as I look for the standby time as I'm leaving, it's up to 70 minutes now. So even a greater time savings using the Express Pass. Do I dare do it? Do I go attempt Gringotts? We're here, might as well give it a shot. See what it's like. Yeah, this Diagon Alley is packed. So this is a line for Butterbeer. Stand by 155 minutes. Okay, escape from Gringotts is gonna be a fail. It's 155 for standby. It's still an hour for express pass. We'll try our luck around Mummy right now. Okay, so even though I did not go on Gringotts, the express pass is still a big time savings over the regular line. We're talking 155 minutes versus 60 minutes. But for me, who comes here all the time, 60 minutes is still way too long. Oh my goodness, the Mummy is 75 minutes. I have never ever seen it so long. Me personally, I haven't. Good gracious, 75 minutes. Let me go ask the attendant what it would be for me, Express Pass. Okay, the attendant said because she can't see the line from here, she's estimating the wait time for Express to be about 25 to 35 minutes. This one I think we'll test. Okay, let's find a quiet spot and talk about the mummy because that Express Pass worked really well. Okay, there we go. I just got off the mummy using the express pass. That's the first time I've ever been in that express line queue. And it was a 75 minute standby when I went in. And I timed it 15 minutes for that express pass. So that one works out pretty well. So the next thing I'm very interested in riding, one of my favorites, Rip Ride Rocket. Let's go check out the wait time and see what the express time would be. Whoa, 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 let's wait a second. I'm right by Transformers. Let's go check that one out first. I don't know if it's gonna come out, but the Transformers pointing at the moon. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, standby is 60 minutes for Transformers. Let's go check out the um, Express Pass though. Actually, let me show you the standby line, how it's looking for Transformers. So they're actually using some of the standby queue area for Transformers. The line to get into the entrance actually is way down there. Let's go check it out. And so this right here, this is actually the express line queue. Now the attendant said only 15, 20 minutes. Let's test it out. Good day, friends, and welcome to the Nest Facility. Really wish what remains of the spark. Or suffer the wrath of Megatron. The Autobots cannot protect you. Okay, that one worked out pretty well, right? 19 minutes versus 60. Express Pass worked for Transformers for sure. 
now let's go check out Rip Ride Rocket. As we make our way over to Rip Ride Rocket, I just need to let you know it has just turned six o'clock. So maybe the standbys are gonna get a little lower. We'll see. You know it's a busy day when they have Schwab's open. So if you're ever in the mood for ice cream on a busy day, this is a place to go. Okay, so this one I'm not going to try. Minions is 105 minutes. I got a feeling it's kind of like Gringotts where it's probably a half saving. So 105 divided by two, that's what it's going to be. You know, you're still going to be looking at close to 50 minutes for this ride, I would bet. Actually, I just checked with the ride attendant. He's saying about 25 minutes for Minion. Still not going to do it. Heading over to Rip Ride Rocket right now. Check that. The single rider is 35 minutes. The standby time is 65. We'll go ahead and test out the express pass on this one anyway. I just gotta remember to start my timer right when I put it in the locker though. That's the thing with vlogging, is I have to deal with lockers now, and I really hate dealing with lockers. Okay, I just got off Rip Ride Rocket. Now that one's a little harder for me to estimate because I've just been timing from the moment I get into line to the moment I get in the car. Now I had to put my timer in the locker, so I had the ride time, I had to wait for the locker, I had to go ahead and do all that stuff. So I would guess that this ride wait was about 25, 27 minutes. So still way better than waiting in standby. Express Pass is working out pretty well, I'd say. Looks like they're testing out some of the New Year's lights here at the grassy area by the amphitheater. Still not coming here on New Year's. I'm gonna stay my butt right at home. Okay, now let's head over to Islands of Adventure. I really, really, really want to ride the Hulk at night, but we did have a good time here at Universal Studios using the Express Pass. Other than the fact that I did miss Nikki, it was a lot of fun, and the Express Pass helped out a lot. Didn't work out so well for Gringotts, but you know, hey, I'll take what I can take. That's the goal right there. Express Pass the Incredible Hulk, and maybe Dr. Doom too. So the single rider line is full, standby is 110 minutes, and the express pass is out the door. The Incredible Hulk express pass is a fail for me. It's estimated to be a 55 minute just for express pass. I'm gonna pass. So I think you can kinda tell if it's gonna be longer than a 30 minute express pass, I'm passing on it. But I do wanna try to get one ride here at IOA with the express pass. Spider-Man, Doctor Doom, Kong, something. It doesn't look like it's going to be Spider-Man. It's 90 minutes for standby, so that's going to be like a 45 minute for the Express Pass. Well, if a hero like Spider-Man can't give me a quick ride, let's try a villain like Doctor Doom. <laughs> There, we did it. It was about a, uh, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Not too bad for Dr. Doom, but I gotta tell you, the coolest time I ever had on Dr. Doom, it had just started to rain. And they shot us up, and as we were coming back down, it was like purple rain was floating up because it was at night, and the purple lights from the ride were lighting up the raindrops. Coolest thing ever. So as I exit the ride, I wanna check the time again, and now it's up to 30 minutes. And I did check my stopwatch. It was 15 from getting in line to getting off the line and grabbing my camera. Okay, now that we have our one ride out of the way, I still want to try another. Let's go see if we can get on Kong. Kong is 110 minutes. The rule of thumb is the express pass will be about half of that. So we're talking just like with Hulk, it's, you know, 50, 55 minutes. I'm going to have to pass on Kong tonight. Oh yeah, I totally have to get a shot of the Jurassic Park River ride at night. I gotta get a shot of this. Oh my goodness, I would so do this tonight if I had Nikki here to hold the camera. Ah. Okay, let's go check out Hogwarts. Let's just see what the crowd's like. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get on the Forbidden Journey, but let's at least go check out the crowds tonight. So in an effort to uh, control the crowd, the flow of the crowd, I can't go through the normal bridge 
They've got us directing us through the overflow bridge. Let's go check it out. Well, this is a treat, sort of. They only open this during the busiest, busiest times of the year. But it does offer some unique views. Like, here's a view of the Hulk from the bridge. Nikki would actually very much like this image because you've got the lights from the ride reflecting off the lights of the water. If I know Nikki, she would love that shot. Well, here we go. Actually, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's, I think they're doing a good job of controlling the crowd, moving them along very well. Because this just looks like a typical crowd level for me. Yeah, this crowd's not too bad here. I think they're all gathering by the castle to see the new projection show, which, if you're interested in seeing, I've already done a vlog on that. Just click on the link above. Okay, now that I've found kind of a quiet, kind of a lit spot, let's talk about this express pass. If you're going to visit this time of year, I actually think it's a good idea. Look at some of the rides I was able to do between like 15 and 20 minutes. The Simpsons, The Mummy, uh, Transformers, those are some popular rides. Now, on the downside, there were some rides I skipped because for me, 50 minutes is a long wait. When you can ride the whole three times in 15 minutes on a Sunday morning, waiting 50 minutes is a long time. But for you guys, if you're here and the waits for like 110 minutes for Hulk, 110 minutes for like Gringotts or like Kong, to do it in 50 minutes, that's a good savings for you guys. I would recommend getting that Express Pass if I were you. And now, check out 10 or 15 seconds of these holiday dancers they have here at Studios. Thanks for watching Rich Flicks. And now it's time to relax. Thanks for watching Rich Flicks. Now it's time to relax.